Welcome to Ty Kicks this week from a brand new location. We're going to be doing a review of this. These are the Pharrell Williams Adidas Solar Human Race NMDs that dropped last week. I promised you guys an unboxing of a pair of these Pharrell Solar Human Races and I didn't disappoint you guys. So this week we're going to be having a look at a pair of the yellow, black and white editions with the red trail sole. So let's have a little look at the box. So standard human race box and what you can see on the box is the colored adidas tray foil on there and you've got on the front of it q 2018 on the front it says solar hue nmd and i can only get hold of a size uk 10. and there's where the problems begin so I managed to get myself a pair of these and I'm not normally a UK 10, but I did hear quite a lot of people telling me they fit quite small. Now, I don't know whether that was small in terms of width or small in terms of length, but I could only get my hands on a pair of UK 10s. So this is what I cut and they're too big. So personally, I would probably recommend going maybe a half size up, but a full size up if you're a UK9 in standard is just a little bit too large. Nevertheless, let's get in the box. So inside the box, we've got Adidas tray foil branding on the tissue paper. And this is the shoe. So let's just check the exact colorway. So this is the super color core black red colorway. Okay, so here you have them. This is the first pair of human race NMDs I have ever owned. And it's looking like I'm not gonna be owning them for a lot longer. Unfortunately, due to the fact that the sizing was an epic fail i'm not going to be able to keep these but i wanted you guys to see them in the flesh i wanted you guys to have a little look at the shoe in general and get a flavor for this particular colorway um, there were other colorways as you can see and uh, as you will be aware those colorways are extremely vibrant and extremely bright so yeah, this was the probably the tamest pair that they actually had. And um, they remind me of bumblebees. We got bees. Dude dropped the whole beehive. You've got yellow and white and black and all sorts of stuff with this red trail sole. So we're gonna go through the materials. So the upper on this shoe is of a prime knit material and um, it's, it's quite thick. It's probably some of the thickest prime knit material that I've come across in some time. So, you know, you've got the, 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 the wear, the, they're not too thin. They've got plenty of stretch and um, definitely, I would probably say a really, really high quality prime knit on this shoe. On one shoe, it says 3M POW 3R. And on the other shoe, what I can only describe as is probably the words inspire, spelt with a one and a another one. You get two pairs of laces with this particular shoe where they come laced with black laces straight away, but you've got an alternative pair of green laces. Around the sock liner, you've got an interesting pattern design and on the back, you have some reflective panels around the backside of the heel area with the Adidas tray foil branding. We've got the classic human race NMD plugs at the front and the back, like all NMDs have. And then you've got the one on the inside of the shoe. And that is exactly the same on the other shoe. The blocks on this are black and the cage on this is black as well. And then we've got the amazingly cushiony soft boost. 
and on the bottom of the shoe is a rather dense, thick and very, very different trail sole to the previous Human Race NMD trails. This is a lot more robust and a lot different, borderline something that you would probably expect a pro trail runner to have on the bottom of their Adidas shoe. Overall, my personal thoughts towards this collaboration was one of extreme disappointment. I kind of felt like this shoe was not only priced extremely high at 220 UK pounds. Are you kidding me? But the colors that came out were not the kindest in terms of the fact that they didn't really kind of go in my opinion. Now, people will disagree. If you are one of those people who really, really love this shoe, please write in the comment section down below. I'd love to know a little bit more of your reasonings for why you liked this particular collaboration. I think one of the main disappointments for me of this shoe was obviously the price, but I, I think that this being the tamest pair in the entire collection, I do feel like it was too out there. I may have people disagree with me and you are welcome to your opinions, but personally, I feel a little bit disappointed. I feel there's too much white blocking out where the wording is on the front of the shoe. I feel like the color schemes are not the best. This is probably the best color out of all of them. And if I had got a size that fit me, probably might have considered keeping them, but because of the fact that they don't, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to return them. And hopefully you guys can enjoy what's next. And that is an up close personal look at the Pharrell Williams Adidas Solar Human Race NMD Trail. <music> I hope you guys have really enjoyed the video for this week and I really want to hear your opinions of these particular NMDs by Pharrell, the collaboration with Adidas and has it gone too far? Other than that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you this time next week for another one. Take care.